In this video, we're going to remind you about the different rules for exponents. There's three, a product rule, a quotient rule, and a power rule. And also, I want to remind you what it means when you see a negative exponent. Now, even though we call these rules, what I really, really recommend is not trying to memorize them, but just remembering that exponents are simply abbreviations. So for example, if you see something like this, a to the second times a to the third, a product, really, what does that mean? When we write a to the second power, what we're really saying is there are two a's there being multiplied together, but instead of writing it out like this, we're just going to abbreviate it. This one means that instead of three a's, we're just going to write it like this. So if you remember that exponents are simply abbreviations, when you see a to the second times a to the third, and you think, OK, there's two a's here and three a's here, you can see that the abbreviation for your answer would simply be a to the fifth. If you want a rule, the rule would say you just add the exponents together. But again, the problem with memorizing a rule is that it's something you memorize. There's so many things already that you've memorized. Sometimes you'll forget, do I add or do I multiply? Is it a to the fifth or is it a to the sixth? So again, instead, what I really recommend, just remember that exponents are abbreviations. So when you see this, it means this. When you see a to the third, it means this. And so in the end, how many a's do you see? Clearly, the answer is going to be a to the fifth. That would be an example of a product. Let's take a look at an example of a quotient. Suppose we had something like a to the fifth divided by a to the third. Again, exponents are simply abbreviations. So when we write a to the fifth, that means a multiplied by itself five times. And when we write a to the third, it means a multiplied by itself three times. So remember that whenever you have a fraction where the top and the bottom are the same, it's equivalent to the number 1. So we can cancel these. This is a 1, this is a 1, this is a 1. These are all fancy ones. And so this is all that we're going to be left with. And what you can see is that we have two a's left, or in other words, a to the second. So that's an example of a quotient. And so in a quotient, if you want it to be rule, the rule would say you just subtract the exponents. The last one I'd like to review with you is the power rule. So let's take a look at a power. That would be something like this, a to the fourth to the third power. So again, what would this mean? This would mean we're going to take a to the fourth and multiply it by itself three times. So a to the fourth times a to the fourth times a to the fourth. And based on what we just talked about, think about what we have here. We have four a's here, four more, four more. So without me taking your time to write them all out, just think about four here, four more, and four more. All together, there's going to be 12 in your answer. If you wanted a rule for that, whenever you're doing a power, you simply multiply the exponents. The last thing I'd like to go over with you with exponents is what does it mean when we have a negative exponent? For example, if you see something like a to the negative 5, what does that mean? Whenever you have a negative exponent, it simply means the reciprocal of what you're looking at. So reciprocal would be 1 over this amount. So this would be the same as 1 over a to the fifth. So if you're ever asked to take a negative exponent and simplify it by making it positive, you simply say, oh, I'm going to make the reciprocal of that 1 over a to the fifth. So here, why don't I give you some to try? Remember that what you want to do is you want to hit the pause button, try them, and then I'll work them out for you after you paused and tried it yourself. So let's try a product. a to the fourth times a to the sixth. We'll try a quotient, a to the eighth over a to the fifth. We'll do a power, a to the sixth to the second power. And then finally, we'll do a negative exponent, a to the negative eight. All right, hopefully you paused. So let's go ahead and work these out. 
Remember, exponents are simply abbreviations. So this would be four a's followed by six a's. If you were to count up all you had after that, this would be a to the 10th. On this one, if you can picture it, you would have eight a's on the top. You would have five a's on the bottom. There would be a bunch of canceling that went on. And once you were done, there would be three a's left. Don't be fooled, this is not a to the 36. You don't go six to the second power. Really remember what this means is you have a to the sixth two times. And you can see that there would be six a's here, six a's here, all together a to the 12th. And finally, what does a negative exponent mean? A negative exponent simply means the reciprocal. So a to the negative eighth, if we were to simplify that, we would rewrite this as one over a to the eighth. And that's it for exponents.